Josh Allen, the current favorite, plus 700 on DK Sportsbook. You got the usual suspects after him. You got Patrick Mahomes, you got Justin Herbert, you got Aaron Rodgers, they're all close behind. Uh, Jeff, which other position, though, do you think has a shot at this? This has become a quarterback award. Yeah, I mean, like, like I'm, there's really no point in talking about any other position. There's there's no other position. What What is a, a player supposed to do better than Cooper Cup did last year at the wide receiver position? And he got one vote. There's literally, like, you can't have a better season than Cooper Cup had last season. It's, it's almost yeah. physically impossible. Like, I mean, Jonathan Taylor, even we could say as well. These guys had historically good seasons, and they still got one vote between the two of them. So, no, this is quarterbacks and quarterbacks only. You might as well just call it the best quarterback award or something to that effect. But, um, you know, in terms of looking at the odds here, there's really no other position that I want to look at. There's really no reason to bet any other position. Maybe one day this will change. But, you know, looking at the top of the board right now, right now, I know a lot of people are up on Justin Herbert. I really don't mind that call. It's just that you're betting him at the same price as Patrick Mahomes right now, essentially. Mahomes plus 900, Herbert plus 1,000. I would probably prefer, if you're, if you're going to think about Herbert, to bet Russell Wilson instead. I still think Russell Wilson has an MVP season in him. He's plus 1,400. You're getting way better odds. That is where I would go today, right now. Um, the odds on some of these players have switched a little bit. I know Jalen Hurts at one point was like plus 4,000. I can't bet him at plus 1,800. I'd much rather go to Wilson. What do you think, Pierce? I have this article pulled up on, on DK Nation, and it says a couple of running backs are getting some bets on the DraftKings Sportsbook. Jonathan Taylor, 3% of running back bets. Derrick Henry, 2%. Christian McCaffrey, 1%. Yeah, those people are throwing their money away. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a quarterback sport, first mm -hmm. of all. We know that. And over the last 15 years, the way they've adjusted the rules, it's become a quarterback league. Over the last two decades, we have seen some running backs come through, but those were Hall of Fame running backs in LaDainian Tomlinson, Sean Alexander, Adrian Peterson. Uh, hey, Jonathan Taylor is great, but we might want to pump the brakes uh, to compare him to those guys. Maybe is. Let, let's pretend that he is on an equal level of those players. Well, the league has shifted even more or skewed more towards passing. And then also he's got to get the volume. I don't know if he's going to get Ladalian Tomlinson type of volume. Adrian, I know he won't get Adrian Peterson type of volume. And then he also needs a scheme that's built around him. Those offenses were completely focused on those star running backs. Taylor is going to get a lot of attention, but they brought in Matt Ryan. They, they spent a second round draft pick on a wide receiver. It's a passing league. Uh, he's still young in his career. Why wear him down right now? I, I just don't see any running back ever winning this award until uh, the rules change or football changes dramatically. It's just QBs from here on out. 